Hi everyone, I'm Thelma of Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I have for you some exciting DIYs with products made from the Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's get the crafting. Okay, our first product, you will need one of these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Just take the jute robe out, take this little bow off. It should just come right off. Pull the um, excess glue off. It'll come right up. Got it under my nail there. Okay, once you get it up, um, you need some paint. I have Harvest Orange. Just put you a little bit. You don't need a lot. Get you a small paintbrush and we're going to paint the not the raised wood but the background here and not the stem. So just start painting that. Nice even strokes. And I can already tell I don't like this brush. So if you get a brush that does this, then I advise you to throw it away. Let's see how this one. Normally the brushes I get from uh, Walmart are fine, but that one, it, I don't know what happened to it, but anyway, normally their brushes are good. I just got to get that piece off. It shed it a little bit, but I got it. But anyway, nice even strokes and go all the way around. If you do a nice thick coat, you won't have to put a second one on. And it doesn't matter if you get a little paint on the top, because what we're using for the top, it'll cover it right up. Now I made one of these similar to this pumpkin before a couple episodes back a couple episodes couple videos back and um, I diluted the paint down with water and I painted the, the bottom well the back pieces that I'm painting now and then I used the regular paint on these three and it, it just gave it a in-depth illusion, like a 3D effect. And um, I'll get it and I'll show it to you after we're finished here. And that way you can see if you want to go back and watch that video. It's not a long video, probably just 20 minutes or less. But just nice even strokes, like I said, going all the way around. And I'm just going to walk you through the whole thing here. And you can see by putting one nice thick coat on, how you don't have to go back with a second coat. Go around. Go on, kitty. Go on.
Let me pause this a second and get this kit cat. It's not a kitten. Cat situated out and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But he got down on the other side and came back up on this side. And the only way he could see was coming straight through here. <laughs> So I just picked them up and put them over there. They're my babies, though. They like being around me when I'm crafting for some reason. They like, he likes to lay on certain things. The bags, not the stuff that, are, not the crafting supplies, just the bags. Okay, now we'll set this one aside and let it dry. And, well, we'll do the stem first. Let me get the brown. Okay. I think I've got a regular brown. I'm just pushing this. I thought I took this down or off, but I didn't. Okay. Just checking, seeing if there was something in there to stop, you know, that paper on top. You don't need a lot, just a little for the stem. And again, on this one, just put a nice thick coat. See how that turns out there? Let me move that paint out of your way so you can see. Alright, now we're going to let this dry before we can do this, these pieces here. Next we're going to work on this leaf, I'd already started painting it, and then I thought, wow, this would be a great project. T turn it around, or you can use this side. Let me move the paint out of the way. You're going to need some of this craft paper. And I got this craft paper from Hobby Lobby. This is the, the leaves. And all we're going to do is trace it. And try not to do that like I did. It slipped on me. it all the way around. The pen just died on me. Like I say, take your time. I'm going to work you through. Normally, I stop and pause and work on. And I got a, que a question 
about could I do the whole thing? And I said, sure, I'll, I'll find something that I can do, that I can just do the whole thing without stopping, but I don't have the um, editing software in my Microsoft Movie Maker to speed up or put music in the background because I tried it and it puts music while I'm talking. There's something wrong with it. So you have to bear with me. All right, now, just cut this out. Just trim right on the line itself, not inside the line for it to be too small. A slow cutter but I will try to talk through it so it doesn't get boring with the silence and um, I normally do a makeup video on Fridays but I'm wondering if I should even continue doing it or just stick to crafts uh, leave me a comment in the well, in the comment, leave me a comment in the comment section. <laughs> um, let me know what your opinion is. Um, that way I'm sticking to one. But I love doing makeup and I get a few views. Uh, I don't want to open up another channel. I just want one because that's all I can focus on. I, I don't have time and with being disabled... I just can't do it. Um, well, disabled and injured now, for those of you that are new. Back in July 2nd, I had a ceiling fan fall on me, and it hit me in my left shoulder. I'm in physical therapy right now, but the therapist said she thinks it's either ligaments or tendons so we don't know where that goes down the road but um tell me how you like this video going all the way through and not skipping uh pausing and skipping ahead and then coming back with half the product done um Tell me if you like that or this working all the way through it because I just think it's slow and that nobody wants to sit there and watch you do the whole thing unless you can speed it up. And once my channel, if it ever takes off, then I'll um, get some... I guess it's a software. I don't know if anybody knows um, Movie Maker software to, to edit and do all that so I can up, um, upload the movie, the video to um, YouTube after I've edited it and all that good stuff. Because even though I'm not new, I'm, I'm still a newbie at this uh, software stuff. I'm not, I used to be computer savvy, but especially right now with this concussion from that ceiling fan, I can't think hardly and remembering, so... It's just keep trimming this down. 
like I said, takes about five minutes to do this, if not more. And another reason I pause is because of my shoulder and my lower back. I've got slip disc in my back, pinched nerve, uh, bone spurs, and um, pausing lets me get a chance to rest my back and regroup. But I, I don't mind doing the whole thing. I just don't want the video to be so long it's boring, you know. We almost got it. Just the stem left now. Okay, let's move this. Make sure I have it on the right side. On the right side. Now I'm just going to take my glue gun and you can use my pod mod if you want to, but I'm going to use glue. hot and ready. go back and add more glue around the edges after you get it on. Okay, so just make sure it's nice and even. And then push down. It's 
glue. Mm. Now, do the stem. See if any edges need it. But again, like I said, you can Mod Podge it or you can use that double sided tape. If you don't want to use a glue gun. Just be careful, don't burn yourself. Alrighty, now we have that. That's what it lo looks like. I think it's just real pretty. Now, if there's any loose pieces of glue, just pull it off. As soon as the pumpkin finished drying the paint, we will paint that. Okay, the pumpkin's dry, but I just remembered something for the leaf. We need to put some jute rope on it. Just take your scissors, the smaller end. Poke it through. And just tie a knot. And there you go. You have it. It's ready. I don't think it needs any trim or berries or anything because that would take away from it being a leaf. Okay, but for the pumpkin, what we're going to use, I have this crafting paper I got from Hobby Lobby too. And just sit it to where it's facing all the uh, stems are going this way so just lay it on it and feel for the ridges where that comes up And rub against it because this is how you're going to use it to cut. Cut that out with. And 
and I'll fill it for the center. Do the same thing. Make sure you get it real good. Go back over the first one if you have to. Now I'll do the other side. Now what you're doing is, fill, is following the ridges and cutting out the, the raised pieces so you can put them on the pumpkin. And just follow the ridge. Just go slow. Or if you can see it real good, go fast. It's up to you. But if you're a beginner, I've never done this, so I just tried to figure out a way to put it on there. And this is the only way I could see. the other one. You can also take a pen, lay this down, and trace it. That way you could see. I didn't think of doing that until just now. So it doesn't take that long at all really to do it like this. Just make sure you stay with the ridge. to get with the light in too. You make sure that's right. I'm just gonna measure these up together. That's gonna work, I think. See, this one goes to this one. And then 
this one goes to this one. I think it turned out pretty good. I just have to trim this right there. Put it on. You're putting it on right. There. Okay. I'm gonna put it right on the wood. what it looks like. I'd like to know your opinion which um, project you like most. Let me know if you like the pumpkin or the leaf. Um, and just remember when you're putting it down, make sure the side that goes this way is facing that way. Because once you get it glued on, it'll be too late. Now let's put the jute rope back in it. Just double knot it. It's up to you if you want to put the bow back on. I'm going to I'm going to put it back on. And here's this project finished. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I'm putting in for today's um, for the drawing and I have this burlap ribbon it's um, nine foot long and I have this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree it's nine foot long I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel if you liked it give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel grow and um, share the video with your friends. It helps get my video out there. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell right next to it. Not only will you become a member of my family, but you won't miss any future uploads that I do of DIYs and hauls. And you'll be entered into the contest. And I'll put more information about the contest down in the description box. Alright, thank you. Have a good day.